Scorpio friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general and love reading for the week of October 30th to November 5th, 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Those of you that would like a private reading, like to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, everything you need to know in the description box below the video. Instagram, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle card message every single day. So I would love for you guys to follow me there. All right, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, also, there's a birth chart in the description box below too. A link where you could go to get your birth chart. We are going to use Tarot of Sexual Magic again. Scorpio, you guys are up first because it is your birthday time frame. Those of you celebrating birthdays this week, happy, happy birthday. I'm using the ghost to row for the main portion of the spread. All right, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, what the hell? Damn, I'm sorry. But it might not be a bad thing. Let's not panic yet. I do seem to pull that a lot for you guys, though. Didn't you get that last week? Two of Wands. Okay. The Knight of Cups. That's you also. Um, all right. And we're, we are going to clarify, okay, guys? So, some of you... Someone could be coming in with an offer, possibly you know, love or I feel like Scorpio, because these are, you know, the tower card is your card, the king, the knight of cups. I do feel like you're doing this. You know, the two of wands is, is, is looking out to the future, you know, Possibly wanting to go on a journey with someone. You know, with the Tower card. You know, it is when things come crumbling down. You know, when, when, you're, when you're not on the right path. You know, things kind of fall apart. It, it's almost, even before you get started. Let's just see what else we got. Okay, nice. The Wheel of Fortune. Right, this is meant to happen, guys. This is really karma, destiny on a big on a big scale. That's two major arcana cards. The Eight of Wands. Awesome. The Six of Swords. So you're moving forward. Okay. I mean, the Six of Swords... You know, things do seem to be moving at a fast pace. You know, the Wheel of Fortune here, this is saying, you know, now is the time, Scorpio. Now is the time, and you know what? This really just came to me. We are in Scorpio time for some of you. You know, this could be a time frame for you guys where things are going to change drastically for you in your birthday time. For real. I mean, this is a completion card. I love this card. It's one of my most favorite cards in the deck. You know, this is the wheel turning in your favor. You know, karma, destiny, things happening the way that they're meant to happen.
it is time to move forward. And I am, I am really um, feeling this more on the love front than anything else. So some of you could be dealing with another water sign, another Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You know, guys, keep in mind, too, I forgot to mention, you know, it's a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, look at your moon, your rising signs. Being that I am going to read this on a love level, you know, look at your Venus sign for love. Um, And no gender, okay? Private readings, that would... That matters for me, but not in the generals. So, possibly another water sign. You know, there's definitely a lot of communication going on. You know, whether it's, you know, um, internet, you know, Facebook, Twitter. You know, but with the Six of Swords and this card, I mean, I feel like you're getting ready to take flight. Like, clarity has set in, realization has set in. You know, this to me really... Scorpio is an epiphany, I'm feeling like, like a realization. I'm almost surprised that the judgment card is in here. Yeah, anyway. But, like, like an aha moment, like, oh my God, this is where I need to be. It's, you know, others of you, you know, you could have really have just gone through some major crap you know, this and it or, or things were kind of falling apart and out of nowhere you know you're starting down a new path it, it literally is literally you know something ended and you instantly start a new path where there's lots of communication You know, and you're and really you're moving into much more calmer, peaceful times. You know, you may decide to sneak out in the middle of the night. It is the ghost to row, just saying. You know, but I mean, follow the light for real. You're being guided. I mean, this is definitely things happening, really, very suddenly. Like out of nowhere. For a, f a very few of you, this could be very short lived, a very short lived thing. You know, there could there could be some um, karmic lessons that just need to be learned, but. You know, all of this is very short-lived. Lots of communication. For some of you, it is a new chapter that's, that, that is going to last. And for others of you, unfortunately, just for others of you, you know, it's not. It, it just, it just depends. But it's like you instantly, just, it's your birthday. I'll look and see. All right, some of you could be de dealing with, whoa. Okay, I think some of you, wow. And then you are, there you are again too, Scorpio. Holy crap. Okay, some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to say an Aries. Because I have the Emperor in reverse, and I think that this, this fire sign, male or female, has lost their mind. I'm going to be very honest. They are not loving, warm, kind. Not with the Emperor reverse. They are out of control. You could possibly be ending it. There you are. That's, there's a whole story under there. Under here, the death card. You could ending, and the two of cups. Wow. All right, so 
ending this ending this relationship and I said before literally starting over with another with in another relationship it could be an earth sign Virgo Taurus Capricorn that could honestly be your soulmate wow You know, you could be dealing with someone that has just totally lost their mind. It's just totally out of control. And causes this tower for some of you. Wow. What are the chances of that? Scorpio. We're going to clarify for sure. The Witches Tarot. Five of Wands, Conflict, Inner Conflict, the Ten of Cups. And the Eight of Swords, you feel trapped. You know, this is this is um forceful movement too. Forceful, fast movement happening here. Sharp, uh, sharp words. You know, sometimes with the Ten of Cups, this is something, you know, that emotionally fulfills you. But with the Five of Wands, there's a lot of grief. You're getting a mixed bag here is really what I'm feeling. You know, for some of you, you know, like I said, you know, you do have this offer coming in you know, of love or you're doing this and it's like all these emotions, a lot of communication, and then it just gets cut off quickly. You know, it's, it's, it's short and over for some of you, you know, it's just... Again, lessons that needed to be learned. I mean, some of you could be struggling internally with this ending. Or struggling with crazy over here. But something is definitely completing. That there's, I mean... We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups clarifying it. But I do get the sense, too, that if not you, somebody is, is just not wanting to see the reality of it. And it's probably crazy over here. Or it's you. Let's look at your love lives. Good luck, Scorpio. That looks um interesting. Scorpios. Sorry, throw up sexual magic and um they are sexually explicit, okay guys? But amazing.
Scorpio, you know, keep in mind the world is a, or the wheel of fortune, you know, this is really a blessing in disguise. It really is. You know, you're moving on to something that emotionally fulfills you. With the Ten of Cups. Like, really. You know, because when I look at these two cards together, you know, the Six of Swords is about moving forward. Yes, the Eight of Wands is about communication. You know, lots of communication. That fast-paced, you know, travel. But I just think you're really getting ready to take flight. And you're moving toward emotional happiness. Something that fulfills you, because this does not seem to fulfill you. But for whatever reason, you feel trapped and there's inner, con inner conflict within yourself over it. Let's hear your love card say. All right, well, that card definitely flipped up and out. Oh, for the love of God. I can't even make this crap up. I mean... Up and right out of the deck. The Emperor, again. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. Straight up. I'm convinced because she's here. Or he. Well, you got both. He or she. Page Cups. And the Knight of Wands. Definitely, some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. Um, so, if you're not dealing with an Aries, you know, you could be taking control, chasing after someone, wanting to romance them. You know, the Knight of Wands has a lot of passion. You know, it does represent this a uh, fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. And um, Aries is coming through strongly. Obviously, here too. There is some emotional frustration happening here. Let's get some more cards. Oh boy, okay, the Three of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. And the moon. Okay. So. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, this is a solid, stable, grounded new beginning. You know, for some of you. But, but there is emotional frustration with the Knight of Cups. You know, the Three of Swords, you could feel you know, like there is some sort of betrayal or heartbreak. And then with the Moon, you know, things are not clear for some of you. You know, someone is coming in strongly and they're just unclear because it's brand new. But there is some sort of emotional frustration happening here. So let's clarify. The 
The Everyday Witch Tarot. Love these cards. Scorpio, I think you're the one that's emotionally frustrated, though, big time. But I do feel like you guys want, a lot of you do want a new beginning. Possibly with an earth sign. Let's see what we got. Knight of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Two totally different energies here. I think there's really a lot of communication going on. And you know, some of you could be working very hard. They're working very hard. You know, someone's definitely very focused on you. You know, one of you wants, it's like, you know, the Knight of Wands is very passionate. And the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving. You know, someone who is, you know, going to pay attention to detail. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. You, you have this combination just coming, continuously coming up here. Those two signs. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is going to take their time. You know, just like the Queen of Pentacles, I mean... You know, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you know, very grounded, stable, solid, you know, secure. The Queen of Pentacles is is dis, is at a distance from you. There's a disconnect. Whatever this is, I mean, there's definitely a disconnect because with the, you know, the moon, you know, the moon is an emotional card. You know, so is the Page of Cups. But you know, and the Knight of Pentacles is very, you know, a very practical energy. Two two different energies it could be clashing, and there could be you know one who is you know, who, you know that take charge in charge energy, and a fear of betrayal. And the other one's very practical and grounded. All right, so, I mean, when I look at these two cards, if you're a Scorpio that has fire in your chart, I, I think you're taking flight and you're bailing. I mean, you're, you're going the same way. If you have earth in your chart, I'm going to be honest, Scorpio, straight up, I think you're dealing with two different energies. I think you're dealing with a fire sign that's getting ready to bail and an earth sign that's coming in. That's what I'm getting.
Okay, you have two totally different energies here. And earth and fire keep coming up, and it's here too. So for some of you, I really feel like the Aries, Sag, Aries, probably an Aries, but could, Aries, Leo, Sag, whatever, whoever, but is definitely leaving. And the, and the earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, is confused. But you're the, but you, you know, the, the earth sign, you know, falls under this, this Knight of Cups, which is you making this offer. I almost feel like you want to literally just sweep them off their feet with the, with the Knight of Wands. But I mean, this is, you know, Scorpio, this is your card too. I mean, you, you, you I just feel like you, because this is, you know, your energy here, you have somebody confused and I think it's this earth sign. Okay, Scorpio, you guys are always so interesting. <laughs> For real. Let's pull you guys. A Halloween Oracle. It will almost be time to put these guys into hibernation for the wind for the season. You know, they are Halloween. Ghost Tarot I'll probably put away. Not the Witches Tarot though. Definitely not that deck. underground world and this this is the this is like the devil this is about letting letting it go you know um i don't want to say this stop what you're doing so you could just clear out your space so that you could let, you know, just let things clear out and then you could do whatever you need to do to transform your life into something that you find easier. It couldn't be a more perfect clarifying card for this reading, honest to God. Peaceful times. You know, I mean, maybe you are, I mean, that don't mean to laugh. I mean, it's, it's not funny. You know, I mean, you could feel like you're dealing with the, with Satan. I mean, this is not a happy person. Like th this, this, this fire sign is pissed. Um, manipulative, cutting. I mean, you know, for some of you could actually bring on this tower and, you know, and very seldom are there reversals in my, in my readings. Very Seldom, and it, it's got to be right because you guys are right behind it. You're right behind it, Scorpio. That is your card. And there's the Queen of Pentacles again. And the Two of Cups. And the I can't even make the, look at this. The Five of Wands again because you're struggling. And the Ace of Pentacles is behind this. It's at almost the same reading. Two of Cups, Six of Cups, that's soulmate energy. Maybe it's, for some of you, it's a water sign that you're moving toward. For others of you, it's an earth sign. So either another Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And you're definitely moving away from an air, from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Like I said, Aries does come through strongly, but it's a general reading. Scorpio, I hope it helps you out for the week. If not, look at your moon, your rising signs. Keep in mind, though, 
you guys are the first ones up. So, you know, give, give me a little bit. All right, Scorpio, I wish you all a wonderful week. I will see you guys back here very shortly with the monthlies. So, um, till then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.